back again for the second time today it is a resident evil village demo uh well village updates into the castle demo so that's what we're going to be doing and frostbite with the damn tentacles in chat okay all right i, I see it hold on i want to run that one more time because we didn't you didn't get the full effect of it hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. you didn't get the holy shit in there wait 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 we gotta run it one more time Yeah. We're going to find out just how just how crazy the castle is actually going to be. How what's the terrors, you know? Is it just going to be the the vampire daughters chasing you around? Is it going to be um just Lady Demisku chasing you around? I I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Um I'm, just, I'm still not 100% on Lady Demisku exactly how her how her name is pronounced four minutes again i don't know what to expect I'm, i mean i think it's going to be alex wesker oh i never found the shotgun either in that last so in the village demo you could you could get the shotgun i never found it i walked right by it must be or something i don't know i checked every house i thought i checked every, all the drawers and everything i never i never saw it i know that it's it was definitely possible to get the shotgun because um, we found a we found ammo and B. I also saw other streamers getting it. Uh, I think Frostbite, you also picked it up too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, again, I don't know where that shotgun was. So, um, yeah, it, are we going to be seeing werewolves in the in the castle? Are we going to be seeing? Is it just going to be being haunted, basically? Play the castle demo. 30 minutes on the clock. Uh, so I can, I will be able to do a second playthrough. Don't worry. There will probably be, you know, we're just going to do standard. Castle de Miscu. Ethan's daughter might be in the castle. He entered the looming castle with a single ray of hope of finding her. But what he found instead was a most unpleasant welcome. Ethan Winters. Oh. Oh shit, this is after Yeah, this is totally after she like grabbed a hold of you by the neck and everything. Very low volume. Like the cup. No treasure on the inside. Ooh. Well, that's different. Okay. So, I actually heard a little something something. Um, if you go into camera and you turn off movement acceleration, just turn that all the way off, then you get straight up. Um, it's supposed to make the camera run a little bit smooth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit smoother. It takes away some of the um, some of the negative edge off from it. That's a switch for a door. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I gotta stop looking around. Oh, the linens. Hmm. Maidens of the harvest. Lock from the other side. Right. That is wicked low volume. I, I, I feel like the volume is just going to really kick in, kick everyone's ass. Ha! Scrap metal. What? What, bullets can be crafted or something? Guessing? Yeah, rusted scrap. Chem fluids, right? There's the ring. 
Oh, there's the ring. The eyeball, which we have seen before with the door. L3 to run. Why am I going to have to run? Who's going to start chasing after me? Ooh, these. Oh, we get the old school type of map now. Nice. Like the old school type of map. Nice gunpowder, which means I can actually create. Can't create handgun ammo. What the hell? Right. Hmm. Okay. Where have they taken Rose? This is the area that we couldn't get into before. Four keys. Mass the angels, blinded gaze, and only when. Okay. Oh, we meet again, Duke. Why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> And have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers. Would she not? Thomas Tresk? The very same. Thomas Why don't Tresk. you take a look? Okay. Thomas Tresk. You'll get Demis lucky. Demis Chris? And speaking Demis of looking, Demis 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 care to make Demis a purchase? The audio is super low in this. Um... Headphone, large range, small range. Yeah, I need just super low in this. Is that the? Uh... No, no, this is this castle. So that's a preview of like all the stuff we've already seen that in the trailer, actually. Red crystals, huh? That might be the save room music. As you wish. Supplies. Okay, we got five thousand, so we can actually buy the shotgun. Um. Hmm. Got the knife. Hair trigger. So this is very Resident Evil Four. I will give it this. Everybody's gonna buy the shotgun. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Even just pulling in on the trigger to aim, you're feeling it on the triggers. Seeking something in particular. Gunsmithy. Okay, so it's gonna cost cash to upgrade. So kind of Resident Evil 5 ish. Crimson glass. So I can actually sell a bunch of this stuff, I guess. This should be enough. Pay me no mind. Uh, reload speed. Mm -hmm. Leave this to me. Good day then. So Ethan is basically just going to feel like he's he's like seriously look down the looking glass basically. Uh that's where I came out of. Definitely a weird feeling on the on the camera. Aim. Cool.
Damn, I'm gonna need more than 30 minutes to go through all this. <laughs> I can already tell we're gonna need more than 30 minutes to, to run through all this. This is gonna be a, a nice little teaser. I can craft herbs, that's good. Oh, some Resident Evil 2 style puzzles. And that would be. Or, oh, actually, Resident Evil 1 uh, style puzzle where you got the. Yeah, the elevator that goes down into the basement level. Or the kitchen level. And then, that, and then from the kitchen, you go down to the basement. All right, so basically, dead end. This is locked from the other side. That's going to be upstairs. She must be pissed that he's breaking all of her shit. <laughs> right, so into the hall. This is the main hall that we were in before in the maiden demo. Now we are here as Ethan. I think I can. I swear to God, I'm hearing something walking around. This game is very low volume. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the game volume cranked a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't blow everyone's ears. Okay, so this is where we end up finding one of the daughters before. That's different. Oh, that's a different door altogether. The wine making technique of Castle de Mystery. De Mystery. The Meski? Something like that. Yeah, can be traced by the, 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 the. Yeah, okay. So that's from the maiden demo. Nope. Can't open that. Getting some wicked Resident Evil 1 vibes right now. Ah, there's the demo. Okay. So that's the demo, the maiden demo door. Which we throw the eyeball into that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Shit. Oh, hi. Long time no see. How's it feel? Long time no see. Right, right, right. Back into the maiden area. Demisku. Demisk? It's a lady. It's it's a lady Demisk. I keep calling her Demisku. Lady Demisk. The U is silent. She just locked the damn door behind her. Right, right, right. Uh oh. The do Trust in light.
Ray tracing. The mini game. Oh boy. Ethan. There you go. Aww. Okay. Guess what? This is the preview. Yep. This is where the assholes are going to come out to play. Why did I just pick up? Must be a treasure or something. Irina, robust appetite in my hands. Louise Ingrid, unstable, overly alert at times. Some of me, let's go. Oh, yeah, right around this corner. Yep, welcome to Bloodborne. Got this. If it bleeds, I can kill it. I like these enemies already more than the goop monsters. Oops. I really do. Fight bomb. Hello. Okay. Shit. Shit. Ow! Sword hurts. Mess. Uh oh. That was it? That, what? No. What? No. That couldn't have been it. What? No. We just got going. We just got started. No. What? 
Hold on. There's got to be multiple endings. There's, there's multiple endings. There has to be multiple endings. Oh, there was a whole other place I didn't go into. Hold on. Let me back in. Let me back in. I want more. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. We can speed run. We can start the speed run now. Um, crimson glass. I can, I can sell that. All right. Here we go. Um, the doors. Then we got to go through. Nope. That's locks from the other side. So then we got to go through here. All right. Now we're on speed run strats. What? Oh my God. I just, I need more. I need more. Oh, I need more. I need all the blood. <laughs> There's so much blood talk. I mean, this is Resident Evil meets, I mean, RE4 ish. It's like some RE4 stuff is in here, but this really feels like Bloodborne to me. I don't know. Just like, holy. Everything in this is just feeling like Bloodborne. This, this is great, man. I just, I, I so want VR mode so badly on this. I've been itching to play some more stuff in VR and this would be like the perfect thing for VR. Uh, I'm not going to run back over there because wait, 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 wait. Wasn't there a little bit of yes? There might have been somewhere something else. No. Okay. Never, never mind. Um, yep. That's a crystal fragment. Cool. 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 So shotgun didn't do too much, but let's go grab it again. Okay. Oh man. Oh hell yeah. Uh, yes, yes. So you can literally just you can speed run strat it too of just um of uh, skipping all the non-essential cutscene stuff. All sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. We'll do them for a small fee. Uh, let's try the high. <laughs> Boom. Okay. High capacity mag and they can't do that. So I guess we will stick with recipe for mines, sniper ammo, shotgun ammo. Really? So, okay. So you buy recipes and you can craft that extra baggage. Apologies. 10,000. Can't do credit. that. All right, buddy. Good day, then. Good day to you too, sir. Good day, sir. All right. So. check boom unlocked okay so this is this back little room here can't get through that door man i can't wait i can't wait for this i, I we need it we need it now a lock from the other side all right i need it now i got nine minutes nine minutes <laughs> what more? I mean, I can just load up a different account and, and keep going. I have a backup. This winery is kind of cool. Um, I think there was a secondary door. Right? There was a, there's totally a secondary door. Wait, there's a door on the other side that is white. Hold on. There's a door over here that we can possibly go through. Shit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, head back to that door. Damn, man. Are these witches? The witches are. I haven't cut open I like. Wait. Shit. Okay, so you can't actually go the other way. Go backwards from here. That's nope, you can't. <laughs> I'm just playing with it. How's it feel? I'm having 
I'm having a date night. Oh shit! Okay. She comes through the doorway. She actually comes through the doorway. That's cool, everybody gets to see the maiden, the, the maiden demo part. Yo, that is clickbait as, but you can't see, like, uh, on all the, hey, let's see what this high, high capacity mag does. Um, on, on all the previews, that's what everybody was getting all like thirsty for was you could actually see through her dress and like, <gasps> Can't see shit in the game. <laughs> Physics engines. This is awesome. I like how on that first run, the the flashlight just didn't turn on at first. I was like, ooh, okay, what? Can't see shit. Troy was it over here, here. VR for this so badly maybe that one other demo weird so in the preview for this they were showing um, believe Cassandra caused all this mess different spot yeah you can't hurt her at all I'm actually really loving. Fat guy said the line. What do you say? What are you buying? What are you buying? Say that. I need blood. Man, I don't want to end it. I don't want. Let's dance. Where are you going, little one? Where are you going? <laughs> I just ran through it twice within 30 minutes. Yep. Oh my god, we're gonna wait until next month. This sucks. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Damn it, man. It's so damn good. I just I just want more. I just want to do everything else. Interesting that they so there is some stuff from RE4. Um, so definitely the the whole you know putting the inventory management there we go that's from re4 um that buying system really feels like it's resident Evil 5. um the menu and sound effects and everything is is definitely um like the main menu and the da -ba -ding, that the little sound effects is definitely resident Evil 7. wow and then the enemies just feel i mean these these enemies in this when they're like running around with a damn sword and like a sickle and everything that shit is bloodborne man <laughs> Resident Evil Cross Bloodborne, like, just give me more, just give me more, oh, the blood, uh, man, they, th the witches are like, I'm gonna suck you dry, whoa, um, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs>
if if Capcom was trying to do the most fanfare thing that they could ever do for any type of a character, it's these witches. They knew what they were doing with this. Like, come on. Lady, Lady D is like this nine foot tall, big busty woman and everything. Their daughters are just like... Uh, yeah, this is going to... This game is not going to be scary. This is going to be a shoot 'em up and so you're going to be on basically a date night with witches in the middle of a in the middle of a castle. That that's a pre-order for everyone. Um yeah, yeah. I mean, there's not too much to do too much else to do in this. I I think the third demo is going to be just this and village thrown together, so I'm I'm going to be very curious to see if they do add the cutscene in there. Um, so that third demo possibly could unlock the when when he's going to the trail. Maybe what ends up happening, dude, she bends down to like a sixty degree angle to walk through the door. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a, a tweet about like, hey, do you, does anybody else notice that Lady Demisky, Demisky, Demisku, however you say her name, that she's like really tall. And then all of a sudden, everybody like, wait a second. And they started checking out like the angle and everything where Ethan is like up here looking down and she's like, hi. And they're, oh, what? Wait, what? And then they, everybody started asking Capcom. And then they, that's when they, they basically affirmed it. It was like, yeah, she's like nine foot four <laughs> with the heels on. She's like nine feet tall and have four inches, four inch heels on. The uh, the daughters, on the other hand, are just like the bug daughters. So, and, you know, in all honesty, the bug stuff is not really bugging me. <laughs> um, usually, hearing zzz in my in my ears, it really bugs the shit out of me. It's not really affecting me with this. So, whatever they did, whatever they did with these daughters, it's actually working really well. It's just making me like tune into the game more of like, ooh, ho, ha, ho, ha, ya. <laughs> um. Again, the enemies that are just walking around with so so we've fought in the werewolves, the lichens, we've fought in the bloodborne zombie type type of dudes and everything. I think these two character, the two enemy types so far, way better than the goop monsters in Resident Evil Seven. Way better. The goop monsters, every once in a while, got you with a little, huh, but um, you know, like teeth in your face. Ah, especially in like VR, they could they could really gang up on you. I think these these enemies are going to be so much better, especially if there is a VR mode possibly in the future. You know, the one thing I haven't actually done in this, and I was kind of waiting for... Um, so I got the adaptive triggers on. Let's go with motion sensor camera mode. I got four minutes. Let's play around with the motion sensor camera. Oh, no. You want VR? There's your VR. Tell me there's not going to be a VR mode. That's literally what this is actually simulating right now. Having this technology in there. I'm not even shitting you. That this is this is the technology that the, Oh, it's a, it's the gyroscope. So then to turn. So literally this is what you're going to be doing in VR. It doesn't work exactly as well as you would think with the controller. But tell me there's not going to be VR. That's the reason why when you turn your head. It turns the camera. So I can I can guarantee to you VR is going to absolutely be in this game. Which is the reason why I was like, you know what? I'm getting this on the PlayStation. Because PSVR. I'm doing a full on PSVR playthrough of this. I don't know if it's going to be from the very get-go beginning. I think um, just with all the lockdown stuff and everything, I don't think they really got the... Uh, with all this pandemic stuff and everything, I think the development kind of got stuck probably because they definitely would have announced VR mode like right off the bat. Unless it's, they're just going to sneak it in there and they're and who knows if it'll catch on. Um, maybe that might be the way that they're going with it, but you would think they would be like making a full-on Resident Evil showcase about... Here's VR mode. I mean, in all honesty, though, Resident Evil 4 VR that just was announced. I th yeah, they've been showing off trailers of it. 
they didn't sh they didn't show that either on the on the Resident Evil showcase. They didn't say anything about it at all. I don't think it was on the showcase, anyways. That was a yeah. I heard it off of Twitter. So um yeah yeah. So who knows? We might see some VR. It's definitely capable of doing it. Um, I don't know if they're going to, but it's definitely capable of it. I would love to see it. I want I, I like I want to like lean in and look at all the architecture and shit on the walls you know like all that stuff um man i just want more village i want, I want more resident i want my resident evil <laughs> um so that's less than an hour i'm thinking what run 8 30. you can't trust twitter well, when it comes from like the actual um, Oculus Quest uh, Twitter feed page thing, and the actual Capcom's you know official Twitter feed is you know retweeting it and everything, I can trust that. Um, plus, when they also have a a full on trailer showing it, I can trust that. Um, I would hmm. So you can plug the PSVR into the computer. Uh oh, brains. You can plug the PSVR into the into PC. I wonder if you can use Resident Evil the RE engine like this. I wonder if you could mod this into if they don't do a VR mode. I wonder if we could make a mod that creates a VR mode. So then when you plug the, the, like a PSVR or if you plug in your Oculus or something, um, theority, <laughs> um, in theory, yes. You plug in your PS, your PSVR or your, or your Oculus quest into the computer. And then you make a mod that runs because we have, we can already do the, somebody already made the scripts and figured out how to make the camera go third person. Like on the computer, we can actually play this in third person. If anybody starts getting really motion sick, there are mods supports for it. Um, now the real question is, can we translate a mod script into PSVR and run the game through because you make it a secondary display into PSVR and then make a mod script to run it on the the motion control, which is already built into the game like I just showed you when I did this. So it's already built in there, make a mod script so then it runs with the second screen into the VR and talks with the VR headset to do the gyroscope like that. You have a homebrew PS or a homebrew VR system for Resident Evil Village. I want a damn VR mode. I don't, I don't care about mercenaries. Fuck off with the mercenaries. I want the damn I want virtual reality. I want to be inside. I want to be inside this thing. And I want to have a really crazy ass Halloween date night with the with the daughters of the castle. <laughs> um I can just imagine the mods that are going to be flooded all over Nexus mods of, of Resident Evil Village. This, the mods are going to be insane for Village. Um, unfortunately, I am getting this on the, on the PlayStation. I'm not getting it on the PC, so I'm probably going to have to wait a bit to be able to pick it up on the uh, PC. Um, we'll see. If there is a lot of mods, then I will definitely be on the PC version of this um, quicker. But for now, I'm just going to say that uh, we'll be doing the launch night stream and everything for Village on the uh, on the PS5. We're going to run that. I still am feeling... Um, so a lot of people were, were saying to do... Where is it? Um, acceleration. Aiming camera speed. Acceleration. So turn that back up. Um, none and none. Aiming camera inversion menu mo non movement camera. No, because that's to invert everything. Aiming camera speed. So if you turn these to none, it's supposed to make the um, the the dead zone on your right analog stick. It's supposed to make it basically as close to zero as possible. Which you want to have more, and then the, the farther up you go with this, then the more dead zone you have. I like it's it's. If it helps, it doesn't feel perfect though. 
Um, and that was one thing where the mouse and keyboard kind of helped out a lot more. So we'll definitely check that out. I mean, I'll, I'll stream again, you know, just run through village. I'll try and do a speed run. That will be, so May 1st will be the speed run night. Village and castle and see just how fast, how quickly we can get through the demo. <laughs> We're going to be skipping cutscenes and all that stuff. Unless there's anything new, new and different in it. Definitely be on the lookout for one more demo, May 1st, probably, I think it's also at 8 o'clock. Uh, I'll probably be live for that, stream that also. And then um, go check out Tone Wolf and go check out Frostbites on his channel, on his Twitch channel. Um, whenever, he, whenever he's streaming, I'm usually hosting him, so, you know, check around my channel for his. Um, outside of that, uh, we do game talks and I have got let's talks on my YouTube. Uh, we do game talks on his Twitch, which also end up on his YouTube too at frost underscore by a four on Twitch. Um, and then on mine is just Warwolf on everything. Just like, uh, just like it's spelled here. So yeah, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot more with this Resident Evil stuff. And tomorrow going to be, uh, like I said, I'll try and do the second half of Resident Evil 5. And uh, we'll see how far we get. And then hopefully, hopefully by like Wednesday, I should be done with the Resident Evil run th through of everything. Uh, and then we'll have, I might take a day or two off just to make sure I got everything ready for Returnal and then be back for the um, launch night. I think it's Thursday night is launch night of Returnal. So yeah, that's the schedule. That's what we're working on. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, I will see you next time.